I can't stop pacing. I've circled my small backyard at least a hundred times since coming outside. Crickets chirp, leaves rustle in the wind, and I pace. This afternoon, Elise told me that my enemy asked her to move in with him. She said yes. <laughs> She's not going to live next door anymore. She's moving into an apartment with him. An apartment! <laughs> she won't even have a garden. She'll be so unhappy without the garden. She needs it. She needs to have a garden to work with me. She needs our time together. She needs me. She can't have a life with him. They're destined to fail. She doesn't belong with him. He's not the one. I am. She needs the voice of reason. Be one. And say what? I cry, dropping to my knees. My other self is silent. You don't know what to say either. Silent still. I pound the ground with my fists. I grab handfuls of grass, wrenching them from the earth. I pull up clods of dirt and send them flying across the yard. I scream into the crook of the elbow and muffle the sound. My neighbor's dog howls in response. I collapse on the broken patch of the earth where the grass used to be. This can't be real, I whisper to myself in the ground. Oh, she thinks she's in love. She thinks he loves her too. I don't care how he makes her feel. I can see through him even if she can't. I say, defeated. This is not my place. Make him leave. You have to tell me how. I can't do this without you. I say desperately. My hands shake. This weight I carry is going to bury me. I can't do it alone. I... I need your help. The words taste bitter in my tongue. What do you want me to do? Punch him in the face. Is that all? No. I want to break his nose, his jaw. I want to break his heart like he broke mine. I want to red his head into a tree, I say angrily. I hurl another dirt cloud across my house. I do it until my body shakes with anger and my lungs struggle for air. You know what you have to do. Admit it. You want to kill him. No! I cry, covering my face with my hands. My voice echoes in the night. I just want him to leave. I want him to go away and leave us alone. I want him to disappear. Then you have to kill him. I can help you. I can't kill him! What other choice do you have? She's going to move in with him. She's leaving you behind. She'll be gone forever if you don't. I think of Elise, of the smiles she gives me every time she sees me. I think of her leaving her house and moving in with my enemy. I think of her with him and his arms and his house and his life. My anger burns. My beast is right. What other option do I have? Elise is going to leave me. I have to kill him, I whisper. The realization is dawning on me. I want to steal his life, like he stole Elise. I shiver at the thought. I take shallow breaths, trying to keep my heart rate. The moonlight shines through the cracks, the tall wooden fence that separates my yard from Elise's. I'm gonna kill him, I say aloud. I feel instantly nauseous. Oh, I can't do it. I can't take someone's life. He's had no problem taking the one you're supposed to have with Elise. He's right. My enemy's stolen everything I've ever dreamed. It's time to claim what's mine. She'll never leave him. And I wouldn't blame him if he never left her. I can't leave this up to chance. I have to act soon. I might die if I don't try. What do I do? Hunt him down? Shoot him? Noise and gunpowder residue. You can't shoot him. Use a knife, buy a new one, stab him, and throw him in the lake. 
No one goes there. It's too murky. It's perfect. The weight I've been carrying, the burden I've been living with, lifts in seconds. The night sky becomes more luminous, the stars more brighter. My enemy will be gone, and Elise will be mine. I'm going to take a life to save my own. <laughs>